class. In this lesson, we are going to learn two strategies to convert fractions into decimals. Okay, so look at the top. It has to be, the, des the denominator has to be a base 10 number. So it has to be 10 hundred thousand. Okay, so to get um, one half to get to a, something over a hundred, we need to times it by 50, right? Two times 50 is a hundred. So the numerator, like always, has to be also multiplied by 50. So one times 50 is 50. Okay. Another way we could have done it is we could times one half times five, which is, gives us 10. It's a base 10 number. And the numerator again, one times five is five. So five tenths or 50 over 100. Okay, so watch the next step. Okay, so if we look at 50 over 100, and we're gonna change that to a decimal, there is no ones place, so we put a zero. We put the decimal because anything now to the right of the decimal will be part of a fraction, a part of a number, a whole. Okay, because the five is in the tenths place and there's nothing in the hundredths place, that means that we have 50 hundredths because if the five was in the hundreds place, we would have only five hundredths. Do you see how that works? Okay, and look at our other number we did. We times it by five, we got five tenths. So 0 0.5, right? And 0 0.50 on the top, right? So remember there's, there's gazillion zeros behind any number we only put it there if we need to use it. So in this case, the next step is, now that we have a decimal, how do we convert that into a percent? The per okay, so the percent sign is equal to 100. So in order to change a decimal to a percent, it has to be in the hundreds place. So 50 over 100 is 50%, or point five zero is a hundred um, is uh, in the hundred so that's fifty percent so we look down here at the one we did where we converted it to tenths we just really need to add a zero behind the five to make it fifty hundreds do you guys see how that works okay so now we have one half equals 50 over 100. We times the two by 50 and the one by 50. It becomes a decimal, 0 0.50, because 0 0.50 stands for 50 over 100. And remember the percent sign, 50% is really 50 over 100. The final piece is called the ratio. It tells us what the two numbers are related to. So one to two, one half, right? One to two. The two dots is called a colon. That's another way you can write a ratio. So one to two is also the same as one colon two. Another way of writing a ratio can be an equivalent ratio. So notice I times one by two and two by two and I get two colon 4 or 2 to 4. If I times the 1 by 10 and I also times the 2 by 10, I get 10 to, the, to 20. Okay, so that's what a ratio is. Okay, this is the second strategy for converting a fraction into a decimal. Because what happens when we have an odd number like 1 third? We can't convert it into a base 10 number like 10, 100, or thousandths. So what we need to do is, remember the, the, this really means division, right? The fraction nine, because this is the denominator and this is the numerator. 
So the one, always the top number goes in the box, just like when we do regular math, the first number goes in the box. Denominator is the one dividing, like how many threes can we fit into this number? So remember what I said, when we go three into one, we can't fit. So what we do is we put a decimal after the one, and remember there's, there's a gazillion zeros behind. We only put whatever we need to use. So for now, I put two zeros. So now we're really saying, can three go into 10? Do you see that? So the answer is yes, three times. Three times three is nine. We subtract that, and we you notice we get a one again, right? So that means the numbers are gonna keep repeating. So we need to go to at least the hundreds place, right? Because we're doing, we're gonna convert to percent later, right? So it's another three. Three times three is nine again, right? Do you see that? It's gonna repeat again. So what we do is we put a line over the top. That means it's a repeating number. So if we keep going, it'll be three, 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 all the way down. Okay, does that make sense? So now how can we change point zero? Point three three is the decimal. So again, it's the same thing. This is the hundreds place, right? So that means we got 33 hundreds, okay? Which is also equal to one third. And percent sign means hundreds, right? So we have 33%. Okay, and the last one is the ratio. Well, the ratio is one to three, see that? Or one colon three. And remember to just make equivalent ratios, we just need to times the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So if I times one times two, I get two. If I times three times two, I get six. If I times one times 10, I get 10. If I times three times 10, I get 30. And these are all equal to one to three, okay? So now it's your turn, good luck.